they fight to keep themselves alive. They come from some of the most volatile areas on the coast of southern Jamaica. These students who are full of everything, with so much potential to do so well, but they don't see it. Their dream is not there. They, they figure they are less than, that they will never become any better than they are. And many times they are told that. They are told that by the society. They are told that by the circumstances that they are in. Every day I would get a call that the, the police have taken up some students off the road, that there is a fight at the corner of the street, that there is a stabbing, that every day that was just the norm. These classes weren't settled. They would spend the entire time trying to, to get the class to settle down, to do any kind of teaching. There was just this frustration. We tried everything. Everything that we could try, we brought in all kind of speakers. We brought in trainers to train them on all kind of new behavior um, programs, and we tried everything. So what is it in aid of? In Jamaica, the word meditation is not a good word. Something must be wrong with you, or you belong to some weird faith or something. And so, initially, when I heard about transcendental meditation, and I'm saying, no way. No way am I getting involved in that. No. I'm very close to a Catholic priest in Jamaica, Jesuit. Um, Father Peter, and I, I told him, and he says to me, then, Margaret, how do you think I last? I said, how do you mean? He says, if I didn't meditate, I wouldn't last. I said, you <laughs> I said, okay, here we go then. Lots of teachers were very skeptical. I was still skeptical. And I'm saying, well, if this can help the students, let's do it. Over time, we have improved in the sense of just helping to get the children to have a sense of self, to understand who they are, to help them to see that they are no less than. When I learned to him, I felt different, I felt wonderful, and I felt new. I've learned a, that a calm approach to things and how I view things. I felt calm and, and safe and, and settled. I got my report from the Dean, the Dean of Discipline. So he compared it with the year before. And already we have seen the drastic decrease in the number of fights and suspension. It is there now, documented. We took off the lowest performing students to put into a class that I gave a, te a teacher. She's a meditator. Her students are meditating. That class, which was the lowest performing class in September 2015, that class is now above the highest performing class that we had. We had another class where it was a class of about 23 students who were very disruptive. That class is like after a while we didn't hear the names and we said, so what happened? No fights today? No quarrels today? No. The class just, just settled down, just started to work. That class just changed completely from being this disruptive class to the class that but now we are getting student leaders from. So I'm saying, the struggle is on, fight is on, but we are going to go through and we are going to make the Holy Trinity High School a school where quiet time, where quiet meditation is practiced because we have to show the rest of Jamaica that listen, change had come, change can come.
I, I do believe that change begins right inside of you. And so if we can get that change within each one of us at Holy Trinity, the change from within, we will change the school and we will in turn change the community.